for round two we are going to be working a puff stitch into the chain space between each of the treble crochet so if you pull one treble crochet one way and one the other you will get the chain space here so first of all you want to attach your new colour the way I like to do this is to just tie it off I just find that the most secure way there are other ways of doing it but that's the way that I prefer so insert your hook through yarn over and pull through so you just have one hoop on or one loop on the hook what we're going to do is yarn over insert that hook into the same space as we've just worked before so all of these into the same space yarn over pull through don't pull too tight on here otherwise it will make this um, too tight for you so now you should have three loops on the hook yarn over into the same space yarn over pull through two and you will have five loops on the hook don't worry if they're all tightly uh, if they're all close together yarn over notice how I put my finger on on this loop here just to help it go through insert yarn over pull through and you will have seven loops on your hook give it a bit of a wiggle to make sure it's not too tight because we're going to yarn over turn your hook to face downwards you don't want it this way going through you want it facing all the way down so that when you pull through it goes through all of your seven loops on your hook quite easily and you end up with one that might take a little bit a few attempts to actually get it right so we're simply going to go all the way round this whole first round so you'll end up with 16 puff stitches so before we move on we're just going to chain one in order to lock that particular stitch so we're going to yarn over insert into the next chain space yarn over pull through they won't look as close this time yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over insert yarn over pull through so you'll now have seven loops on your hook yarn over and you're going to pull them th all the way through those seven loops yarn over pull through to lock yarn over insert into the next chain space yarn over pull through three loops on the hook yarn over insert into the same chain space yarn over five loops on the hook yarn over insert yarn over seven loops on the hook give it a bit of a wiggle yarn over turn your hook to face downwards and gently pull through all seven loops on the hook yarn over pull through to lock so now now I have three puff stitches continue this all the way around until you have 16 puff stitches so then this is my last puff stitch into this last chain space
and then we're going to join this puff stitch to the first puff stitch at the top here you see like a, a V insert in there so you look like you have two loops there or three and then you pull through all three yarn over pull through Snip off, pull through and pull tight, and that is your round two.